Apparently, you can expose someone to be a satanic Masonic puppet shill. Just my showing that people making Masonic symbols by accident. So today, we will expose Richie from Boston and Russian vids. Because apparently, it's an undeniable fact. Since they both attacked High Impact and claimed that he is a Masonic shill. But first, let's see their hypocrisy. Please watch till the end of this video to understand the full uh, message. High Impact, who you recently had a video about, and uh, I'm, on, I'm on the same uh, page with you. You know, these kind of individuals, they come out, they can say and do whatever they want and, and with no repercussions. With us, we've been around forever. We've been through hell, uh, losing channels left and right. While this guy, um, he could do no harm, uh, do no wrong, and he continues to do what he does. Wait, wait a second. They can say and do whatever they want with no repercussions. Do you know how many channels I've had taken down on YouTube? Successful channels. As a matter of fact, I was demonetized before Richie from Boston. I learned that Richie from Boston got demonetized. And I, I reached out to somebody that I thought could do something about it. And they ended up doing something about it and got Richie monetized again. And then my channel on May 2nd, 2018 was completely demonetized. And then it was removed for seven and a half months from, uh, from YouTube while Richie from Boston was not only still up, but he was still up and monetized. On I took down seven channels in nine days. It was like playing whack-a-mole. I was trying to keep a channel up, trying to keep a channel up. They just would not stop taking me down. And then they finally took me down for good. And then magically eight months later, they put two of my channels, two back up. Same thing happened to me. Same exact thing. So I got three channels taken down. He got seven taken down. What is this, a race or something? This dude took advantage of COVID to sell everything under the sun, including solar-powered hot dog cookers. I mean, come on, man. That wasn't, it wasn't the, when this thing first popped off. Let me show you something from Richie from Boston. This is what I got a real problem with. He's speaking in utter hypocrisy. He does the exact same thing. I'm going to bitch you. Let's go to Richie from Boston's channel. Just to verify, this is Richie from Boston's channel. On every single video, every single video. By the way, if you click on a video, you can't comment because he's cut off comments because Richard Richie from Boston is demonstrably for censorship. He doesn't want to hear what you have to say about him. Look at this order or don't, but it's all coming to a sudden stop. My Patriot supply order before they flip the switch order before you cannot last warning dark winter is already in effect. So what's he taking advantage of? He's, he's, fact, he's taking advantage of, hey, if they flip the switch, you need to order your food. When my channel got taken down, he offered with 500,000 subscribers to have me on so people, so I could get a channel going and I declined. Cause I don't, you know what I mean? He makes entertainment. He talks about the left, right. He talks about everything the mainstream does, but then puts a little spin on it. I don't talk about politics because I like to think that the people that have been following me for all this Richie talks about politics all the time, guys. Richie PubMed, talks. What is PubMed? P PubMed article proves 5G will cause. That is, this is mainstream, top shelf authoritative source. A day in my life carrying guns. He's talking about the FBI. That's mainstream. Kerry Madej is coming to talk about. You got, you got about a million items for sale. Is there is there a problem? Can yeah. you prove there's a problem with that? Absolutely. Is there something I is there something immoral or harmful about it? Yeah, it is because you're selling products that are just promoting a fake virus. You want to under freedom. You did that number 33 very well. You did, you did yourself a big favor here. And I, I appreciate you coming on and uh, there, there you go. You just, <laughs> you just, you show your colors, man. Yeah. You show I, your colors. I, I, I appreciate you coming on and uh, the number 33 is prevalent. Just an amazing coincidence. You didn't show a photo when you were 30 or 35 or any other age. Oh, I didn't. Can you 33. can you prove that assertion? Can you prove that I didn't? Yeah, it's prove, right prove. You just right made another. You just you just made another assertion. I didn't. I didn't put face coverings. You can use it if you want to as a face cover. All right. Let's, let's take a look here. Let's take a look at what is this? What is this right here? You guys see that? Yeah, it's called an oversight. I I after the anomaly thing, I have I have hundreds of stuff in my store. I went through every one meticulously, and apparently I missed one. Ask. But it looks inconsistent with the message. And I don't know if you know the backstory, but the reason I initially even offered them is because people were in a tough spot early on. We're trying to figure things out. People are like, hey, Brian, uh, can you, if I'm going to wear a face mask, I want to have something with a, a message on it. So I provided it, had a, a live stream with Anomaly, 
he talked about it other people talked about it i said you know what that's probably not a good idea i'm not going to have it in there not because i think it's evil or inherently wrong but it is a bad look so i Let took me it ask out. You this here so how did you how did you get in contact with ron paul you said you met him you're pretty well connected no i was a delegate for him in 2012 everybody oh. who's who's the delegate met him oh wow that's very interesting so that's why you're so uh, hard up for Ron Paul. I see. Okay. That's what How I see. am I hard up for Ron Paul? I'm not defending him. I'm saying you need to prove that he's a Freemason. So basically, there is no evidence, just accusations. They seem to care more about the views and how much impact is making than being a real shill or not. All they did was put out the Masonic signs, which can be evidence if someone had other types of evidence, like someone wearing a Masonic clothing or etc. It's completely hypocritical. All they did was attack him and slandered him. This is unacceptable. Okay, now it's time to expose them. Make sure you watch this video to the end. As you guys can see, Richie from Boston is a Masonic, Satanic shill, based on their narrative. Now let's expose Russian vids. If you write his name in Gematronator as Russian V, the reduced number will come out as 33. You see guys, this is undeniable evidence. Also if you write, Arvid's truth, you will get a reverse reduced number will come out as 66. Clearly this guy is satanic. I wonder how much Russian Vids is making from his products. Russian Vids, if you're watching this, make sure you tell us in the description. Okay everyone, as you guys can see we clearly exposed these shills. And this is based on their mindset and the way they try to expose people. Now finally, the main point of this video was not to expose anyone, but to show that anyone can be exposed that way. We like watching Russian vids, and Richie from Boston, and we learn a lot from them. But we must put a stop to this action. You can't simply just expose people just because they flash a Masonic hand signs or show a Masonic number and accuse the person. We must understand that numbers like 33 or 6, 6, 6, etc. were hijacked by the Freemasons. Just because you use the number 33 doesn't mean you're one of them. Richie from Boston has always did actions like this. Couple of years ago, he attacked a call for an uprising. Richie should let go from his ego and focus on exposing the truth, not go on a rampage and attack every truther out there. Russian vids needs to do this as well. If you want to expose someone, you should focus on his or her actions. The truth is obvious, we don't need to do this to expose anyone. Some people even attacked Odd TV and Eric Dabe and called them shills yet they have no evidence. People must stop this. It's very childish and ignorant. We don't see any wisdom in that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone watched this video till the end. Because if they didn't, they probably didn't understand the message.